Welcome to this TO70 Masterclass. In this Masterclass, we'd like to introduce to you the Collaborative Decision Making, or ACDM, concept. To explain why ACDM is implemented at airports worldwide, let's have a look at the ACDM Steer and Benefit Mechanism. This mechanism shows the potential benefits when steering on predictability is implemented using ACDM. As shown in the first two blocks, steering on predictability impacts operational efficiency at the airport by enhancing the monitoring of operational flight events, their compliance with ACDM procedures, and by improving data consistency. In this context, operational efficiency results in the efficient use of parking stands, ground handling equipment, and human resources through more reliable and robust planning. Yet efficiency also propagates to remote stands, taxiways, apron buffers, runways, as well as airspace and network sectors. As a result of improved pushback and takeoff predictability, airspace sector demand planning can become more accurate and planning buffers can be reduced. This can reduce air traffic flow management regulations and increase airspace capacity and hence punctuality. Through enhanced departure and arrival punctuality, flight plan buffers could be reduced as well, enabling large cost reductions for airlines. Among the airports where ACDM has been implemented, valuable benefits have been met. They include improved efficiency and punctuality, reduced taxi times, quick recovery from disruptions, and reduced network delay. So far, ACDM has been implemented at 29 airports across Europe, as well as multiple airports in the Middle East, Asia, Asia Pacific, and the Americas. They have implemented the concept in accordance with the Global Air Navigation Plan developed by ICAO. So what exactly is ACDM? ACDM is an operational concept focused on enhancing situational awareness between the airport's main operational stakeholders. These include the airport, air traffic control, aircraft operators, ground handling agents, and if applicable, the network manager. Through enhanced exchange of planning information, these stakeholders will improve performance monitoring and predictability of a flight's operational events, or milestones, in the aircraft transition process at an airport. Sharing the right information at the right time to the right people supports operators to make the right decisions and optimize resources. Implementation of ACDM is realized by implementing the six concept elements. Information sharing, milestone approach, variable taxi time, collaborative pre-departure sequencing, ACDM in adverse conditions, and finally, collaborative management of flight updates. The first concept element, information sharing, aims to enhance situational awareness by creating a user interface with shared flight information and alerts. The second concept element, milestone approach, breaks down the flight progress into 16 ACDM milestones that trigger updates of the planning and alerts when discrepancies are detected. The third concept element, variable taxi time, aims to predict taxi in and taxi out times accurately based on the assigned runway and aircraft parking stand, the availability of taxiways, aircraft type and weather conditions. Using these times allows for a more accurate prediction of when an aircraft will arrive at the parking stand and when it will take off from the runway. These variable taxi times are combined with other operational information in the fourth concept element called collaborative pre-departure sequencing. A sequence planning tool, or departure manager, is put in place to determine the right order of when flights are allowed to request air traffic control for startup approval and pushback from the aircraft parking stand. In the fifth concept element, adverse conditions, communication and decision-making procedures are put in place to ensure decisiveness between stakeholders in adverse conditions such as extreme weather or technical issues. In the sixth concept element, management of flight updates, departure planning information, or DPI, is shared between the ACDM airport and the Eurocontrol network manager. This facilitates the ACDM airport with improved predictions of inbound flight arrival times and stakeholders in the network, such as air navigation service providers and destination airports, to anticipate traffic demand. From orientation to deployment and live operations, our ACDM experts are able to provide support consultancy and project leaders at your airport or organisation. This may include support with a feasibility study to facilitate your business case and decision making on implementation, organisation and scope. Facilitation of discussions regarding the concept of operations tailor the ACDM concept to local needs. 
project management such as project planning and stakeholder management, development of key performance indicators, and setting up a performance monitoring organization. Data analysis to monitor on ACDM performance and to continuously improve the effectiveness of ACDM. And finally, management transition from the implementation project to line operations. Experts in all levels of an organization are essential to generate and to maintain ACDM operational benefits. An e-learning course on ACDM and face-to-face -face training by our operational experts is a great way to start. For more information on ACDM, make sure to have a look at the TO70 blog at to70.com and feel free to contact your local TO70 office. Thanks for watching.